coach team after the last uh, World Cup. Um, they tried to, you know, to rebuild and to get this, themselves together to that winning uh, ways. But it has not been easy. And uh, hopefully, as uh, defending champions, uh, hopefully I, I, I look up to them and uh, as one of the favorite to see if they can bring about that Spanish team that we used to know with a very great football culture that has won the World Cup, has won the European Cup, and to win it again. So sometimes when you, when you have gone through a lot of uh, winning, uh, sometimes the players also have a certain way of relapsing. So I hope that kind of uh, spirit will not affect them in this year tournament. Experience-wise, in a major tournament, it can affect it. But the coach also is looking for fresh legs that will play for the Spanish color and play for him as a coach and also play for the team. So I think uh, strategically he has his own plan and I hope he paid for him. They can advance because um, they are not favorite and nobody is looking at them. So in a tournament of this such, pressure is not on them and they are not under tension. So a team like that, they are just going in to play. And such team can cause surprises anywhere, any day. So Czech is a team to watch out for. And uh, the Spanish team, I also, I, I, one way I want to uh, think with the coach, hopefully that he's trying to rebuild a team that will not only play for the uh, Spanish people, not only represent the Spanish flag, but to play for him, and also make sure because he needs fresh legs. Uh, one area when you have major players who are out of the team, experience why it can be an addition to the team. But in as much as he's rebuilding, he also needs young boys who has a fighting spirit, who has the energy, who can run for him, for the team, and for the nation. So strategically wise, I hope he pay for the coach. If not, uh, it will be one of the uh, critical. Uh, 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 issue that can happen to the Spanish team. The problem with the Croatian team, just like the English team, I, I think there is a psychological problem that has to do with maybe confidence or boldness to hold the bull by the arm and go to a major tournament like this and win it. Uh, I don't know whether it has to do with the weakness of the coach or the pressure or fever that comes in the tournament to put players in their limitation because uh, the Croatian team, even in the last World Cup, has the ability and a strong team that can go to the finals. Uh, if you watch back from history, it's a team that has been doing well in major tournaments. Only when they get to the crucial stage, they lost out. But I hope that this year, uh, uh, they, will, they, will, they will build up that courage to bring about that uh, Croatian uh, uh, kind of winning ability in the team that will make them sail through to the next round. For me, it's not going to be a surprise. Why? Because uh, the nation of Turkey has invested so much on great footballers. And if you, if you look the trend from uh, even my time, there were major great players that the, uh, the Turkey Football Association invested in building their young and upcoming generation. So experience-wise, um, they have, they have drawn a lot from these players. So this will give them not only uh, the moral booster and exposure, they can cause a surprise in this uh, European 2016. Turkey. Yes, Turkey. They, they, play, they play like they have lost their head. So, uh, and sometimes, you know, there is a way you can invest uh, in a certain object or in a certain ground, then in the fullness of time, also there will be a reward. In Turkey, I believe that they have invested so much money when it comes to football. They have paid so much. So I think this tournament will be a compensation. Okay. Turkey, Spain, or Croatia. Like when we were in 2002 World Cup, <laughs> we're having Argentina, uh, uh, Sweden, Sweden, England, England and, uh, and Nigeria.
So this is a this is a zone of death. Any team can break. So I'm expecting anything from this group. The problem with a team of that nature, uh, I've been the problem with a team of that nature. I've been in that kind of stage before. It has to do with um, the overconfidence of the players. Why? Because they have uh, already known names who has been established across the globe. And when they go into a, a major tournament like that, uh, they take everything for granted that because of their ability, they can overwhelm anything. So a team like that has a certain kind of weakness that if their opponent can see it through, they can nail them. Why? Because they have Aza, you have uh, the other one, uh, or is it Oji, or the one in playing Liverpool, Origi, you have Benteke. Young, great players, they have stars in this center. When you talk about even their midfield, you have Fellaini, you have the other one that play in uh, Zenit. I mean, solid team. And even the captain of uh, Man City United, solid, solid team. So I, I pray that uh, the weight of the strongest of this team, if they can take that to impose upon their opponent, I know it's not going to be a surprise that Belgium, for the, I think for a very long years, will win the nation cup for their country. Uh, that young man make a lot of uh, old job in the defense. And it's a person that when he's giving, he's giving everything. Uh, I, pray, I pray that they will get a good quality replacement for him that at least will bring a sweet, solid edge in that back four. So I hope, I hope for this physical build and athletical, uh, athletica, uh, uh, athletically is very strong. So it's somebody that one on one is very difficult to beat. So that is an advantage for a good thing uh, because the, the at least uh, normal world we express it that the best way to defend is to attack. So I I hope that this Belgium. Uh, reputation wise they have a very big reputation to go to this tournament I hope that they will be able to superimpose uh, that uh, look from people on them you know Italy is a rugged team you can't predict them they, Italy, Italy is a rugged team the style of Italians you, 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 you can't fix it they will take the game to you they will play it anyhow at the end of the day they will fight you to the end they have the same mentality like like germans so they don't have a team that they are spoilers so the belgian team should be very careful that italy will not spoil their home sweden in the last few years they have not been there but i hope the responsibility are being imposed on ibrahimovic he will be able to at least for the last time he will appear in this tournament be able to carry this team for them to sell through to let me tell the quarterfinal stage or cost surprising. They are the same like Italians. They are spoilers. You don't know what is what and you don't know what will happen. They are underdogs that will come and match you to you at the end of the game. And physically they are very athletic. They can run from the start of the game to the end of the game. So when you have a team that can run more better and more faster, there is a possibility that if your team has a certain kind of Weak lapses, they can capitalize on them and nail you. So they have to be careful with this underdog team. I want to put my card on Belgium and Italy. Because the Italian team is carrying the same spirit like their coach. When Conti was playing, he's a midfielder, you can't predict him. He will, be, he will put leg in anything, he will match anything. He will. So they are carrying the same spirit, like the spirit upon their coach to a major tournament like that. And when you have that kind of character, it's a very difficult team to fight, to, to deal with, because they will dog it out with you and fight every duel with you until the end of the game. So Italy and Belgium, I see that team. Then, my next... Uh, pot of touch can go to Ireland. They can also come from behind and create surprises. <music> the Portuguese team is a very weak team. It's a very weak team apart from they have a few experimental players like Ronaldo who can make a difference. But if you watch them, they are very uh, weak team. Um, a defender like uh, Pepe, he plays so much in Real Madrid, but in the national team, he doesn't even find anything. If I was the coaches 
I'm not going to play him. He didn't mention that to me. He doesn't. He doesn't do nothing. He's either he'll get a red card or he's going to be careless with one tackle. Then they will either nail the team or they will score. He doesn't really give his best in the national team. So uh, the Portuguese team is not a very strong, solid team. Iceland can be a surprise. Heavily can be a surprise. I've seen those young boys. Uh, you know, uh, our ex coach here is the one in charge of them. They are hungry to play. If you watch them play, you know that these young boys are hungry to play. And when you have players like that who are determined, who are ready to fight for the team, and they have a goal or dream, and they are focused towards that, with a small encouragement from their coach, they can get that. I'm looking at I, I, Iceland. Portugal can take experience to edge the rest of the team. But if it is not I, Iceland, it can be Portugal. If it is not Portugal, anything can happen within uh, the two teams beside them.